みなさん、こんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So today, I would like to talk about a topic that、uh, might have made everyone a little bit worried recently.、Uh, the thing is, is that、um, on Instagram, on Instagram story, I recently made a post saying that I'm feeling a little bit tired recently and I haven't been able to reply to my DMs that c o m e s to my Instagram account. And I receive maybe about 30 to 40, sometimes 50, 60 DMs every day. And I love, love exchanging messages. With my viewers, with my friends. I love calling my viewers my friends, by the way. But, anyways,、um, I, I really enjoy it. But recently, I've been feeling a little bit tired and I haven't been able to.、Mm, I always try to reply through voice messages and I couldn't just simply couldn't speak for a while. And、uh, a lot of people were like, wow, Shogo, you must be really tired. What happened? you know? And, or, you know, a lot of people gave me warm messages saying you should rest or, you know, you work so hard all the time. It's a completely fine, just take your time kind of thing. And I just felt really, really relieved. But, Um, as I received probably over、um, 20 messages, I think,、um, telling me that just、uh, to get some rest, you know, and we're on your side and stuff like that,、um, I really wanted to、uh, explain to you、um, what I have been basically struggling with recently. And today's podcast might、uh, not be the very positive me that you usually listen to. Well, you know, I am always very positive, but there are some things that I just、uh, get, you know, completely get caught, you know, in,、um, in a situation where, where I'm like, what should I do kind of thing. You know, I always try to focus on the things that I can control, but when I feel like I'm completely trapped, there are some times that I feel a little bit tired. And right now is definitely the situation. So I would like to talk to you about what kind of situation I'm trapped. In right now. So, to make a long story short, basically, it is something related to my new team, Team Us Ask Shogo. So, now we are、uh, four of us working together. And、um, yeah, so it's been about how long now? Since、uh, April, so it's about a month and a while now. But basically, Mm, to make a long story short, I guess there's two things that I'm struggling with related to Team Last Ask Show. Number one is that originally, if you remember, Kazu and Tomoko are originally my best friends, both of them. I love them very much. I need to say this, yeah, in the beginning. I love them very much and I want to continue working with them. No matter what happens, I will always be wanting to be their leader. And、um, it's basically my life purpose to try to protect them, you know. But、um, because we were originally best friends and now we are working together and basically like business partners, you know, you know, I think a lot of people might understand what I'm struggling with right now. But the relationships g e t s very ambiguous, you know, there's some things that need s to be done, for example, on time, punctually, you know, tasks that must be done. But when you're friends, you could be like, Well, Sugar, I was a little bit busy and I was a little bit tired. Can we like postpone it for a few days? Or, like, you know, that kind of thing happens. Like, I, I've had a lot, a, a few other friends that I've talked to、um, telling me that they run a business with their family, with their father yeah, and his brother. Yeah, it was talking about something very similar that,、um, like, he as a younger brother gets his job done, but his older brother doesn't. Yeah, and his father just leaves it, you know. And、doesn't say anything, and he's like, Wow, what's going on here? And it, it, if it's this is a, like a regular company, you know, people would, what should I say, care a little bit more about what they say, if that makes sense. If they're a completely、uh, a boss, only a, if your relationship was only a boss and a worker, basically. A subordinate, yeah. You would choose your words a little bit more, or you know, I, I believe you understand what you mean, right? Yeah, you wouldn't go up to your boss and suddenly say, You know, I was a little bit tired this week. Can we just postpone a task you were giving me? You know, you wouldn't say that, right? You know, so this is the part that gets really difficult. You know, it's gonna take a lot of time for me to try to create a culture of maintaining our great relationship that we've had for more than a decade for both for Tomoko and Kazu. And Trying to build up this new relationship of business that we need to definitely focus on. Because the thing is, I, I'm not here to try to be always be really strict to the two, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not some devil that wants them to be always be very busy and always be tired. No. What I, what the tasks I'm giving them is for us to maintain this company, this team, right? Because it, I'm paying them money, obviously. I'm paying them money, and if they don't get the jobs done, 
we're basically just going to collapse, right? We're just going to go bankrupt because I'm paying them money and they're not giving me results. It just doesn't work out, right? You know, it's impossible to maintain a company, a team like that. You know, it's like it's like me volunteering and just, you know, giving out money if that happens. Of course, not, not 100%. They are working very hard, by the way. I don't want you to get me wrong. But, you know, if we, uh, if we speak of extremes, this would happen, right? So I always need... Um, not, not just the two, but of course myself and Harumi to get things done as well, because obviously if we are going to be handing out money, you know, uh, basically paying someone for their job, they need to get the job done on time, right? Because if someone gets a little bit late, everything else gets a little bit late. And then in the end, we're not creating enough products or creations or things like that. And we'll be able to make enough profit and we'll just, you know, get tangled up in this bad routine, bad routine, bad cycle, right? So that is the thing I'm really struggling with right now. Um, you know, this new relationship and I don't blame the two and I don't blame the two. I know it's dif difficult. And I know on the other hand that they were doing this properly when they were working in their previous companies, because both Kazu and Tomoko were are both very, very talented, very fast learning, very hardworking. And they were in their previous companies. They were like, you're going to be the next, you know, leader of our team kind of thing, their previous companies. So they must have done these things properly before. But now that they're in my team and because I'm originally their best friend, I'm pretty sure they're not doing the things that they originally could have. They're saying the things that they wouldn't have said to their previous jobs bosses, but they would say to me, if that makes sense. So that is the thing that I am very um, struggling with a lot, because especially because I am the business owner, you know, I'm pretty much capable of switching between friends and business partners quite, you know, um, immediately, yeah, because I'm the one assigning the tasks, right? So I'm able to kind of... Um, what should I say, distinguish that really easily. But for the two who are just, um, what should I say, just got here and recently started working and such, I'm pretty sure it's very difficult for them, but we really need to do this. Otherwise, our team is going to be collapsing. And I've been trying to think of a good way. I, of course, I've been telling them many, many times the same thing over and over. But it's, as time goes by, they kind of come back to the same situation again. Yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, so I just have to continue doing this and um, basically create a new culture, you know, in our company, a new relationship, build this up, you know. And of course, it's only been a month since Kazu came. It's only been about 10 months since Tomoko came. It hasn't even been a year yet. So it's impossible, basically, for our new relationship to be completely stable, right? I, I understand it's impossible, but it still is a little bit tiring sometimes, yeah. And um, I don't want to say stressful, of course, because I love working with them. But um, as a person who, you know, looks at the number of uh, amount of money we have, you know, in our bank account of our company, um, considering the amount of money we use every month, considering the things we want to do in the future. Yeah, there are some things that I'm a little bit worried about. So, yeah, this is a thing that I've been struggling with the most. Yeah. And. Another thing, if I can say, uh, that I'm struggling with the most is that uh, right now, basically, uh, Tomoko and Kazu are working almost like as freelancers for me. So they're not like a regular company worker, you know, that starts jobs at this time, ends jobs at this time, you know. And I believe if you're a freelancer or if you've ever experienced uh, running a business and such, I believe you might understand. But um, the, mm, what should I say, the mindset mm, of... A freelancer and a a worker at a company, salary man, you would say in Japanese, are completely different. You know the the mindsets are different. Yeah, common sense are different. So, like basically, if you work at a company, a regular company, as a worker, this is what I thought too when I was working at a company. But jobs, hacks are something that you are forced to do, right? Your boss, you know, assigns you something and you have to do it. It's something that you're forced to do even if you don't want to, right? But that's exactly what it was for me in the past, by the way. But after experiencing freelance, being a freelancer as a web writer, you know, and starting YouTube and running a business, jobs and tasks are something that you are given. It's a privilege 
right? Because I have experienced living with few hundred yen, just a few, sorry, few hundred dollars a month, even though I was working almost 24 seven for a whole month and I earned only a few hundred dollars. I've experienced that in 2020, right, right after COVID came and we had to close down the business. I have experienced that. So I know that given a job, is a great privilege and it's not something that everyone can do. So the mindsets are completely different. And another thing, for people who work in a company, the same for me when I was in the past, working, work is about how much time you used, right? You go to work at this time, you leave at this time, time is what's considered work. But when you become a freelancer, when you become a business owner, time doesn't matter. It's the amount of results you you actually were able to create, right? The amount of good quality products you were able to actually produce is what's considered work. E- even if you work for 11 hours today, if you only produce, if you didn't produce anything, you didn't work basically. As a freelancer, that's right, right? You're not gonna be earning any money if you don't produce anything. But if you work at a company, because your salary is basically most in most industries, you know, at least in Japan, are fixed. So you just have to go to work at a certain time. You have to leave work at a certain time and you get a salary. Of course, you need to get jobs done, but you don't have the responsibility for creating something in a high quality because your bosses will be responsible for that. Your uh, senpai will be responsible. Your coworkers will be responsible with you, you know, and you won't get immediately fired just because you made one mistake, right? Freelancers and business owners are completely different. If you don't get good results, it's goodbye. That client is not going to be working with you anymore. Um, you're not going to go up to that client and say, uh, you know, I used 12 hours to produce this today. And if there, your production was not a really good quality, the client would say, okay, so 12 hours, what does that matter, right? I asked for you to make this and you didn't make this. You, you used 12 hours, so what does that matter, right? That's what, you know, that's reality. That's what the society would tell you if you're a freelancer or a business owner, you know. And I want to make it very clear. I'm sorry this podcast today is really long, but I want to make it very clear. But I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say that a freelancer or a business owner is better, you know, as a uh, person, you know, working. I'm not trying to say that these people are better than the people who are working at companies. I'm saying that it's different. It's obviously different. Right. Because working at a company, of course, has its stress, you know, and all of its struggles, too, because I understand that, of course, I worked at a company myself, too. Right. So I completely understand that side, too. But right now, as a team of four and as a business that hasn't even run for two years, I need the two to work. Kazuo and Tomoko, I need the two to work as freelancers and be responsible for their productions, not the amount of time they used. Because if I was if I was running a huge company that had a lot of money, a little bit more stable, I might be able to, you know, basically, what should I say, accept one person who, you know, might be a little bit late sometimes, might not be able to get make good enough quality you know, products and such. That's completely fine. We're we're running this as a you know huge group, but right now we're a team of four. One person not making it on time. One person, you know, not taking the responsibility to make a good quality product, the impact is really, really big, right? I'm not saying either side is good or bad. I'm saying this is the reality in our team. Yeah. And this, again, is taking so much time for me to try to explain to, to my team members. Yeah. Again, jobs are not something that you're forced to do. It's a privilege that you're given from society. Society is basically telling you, we need you, right? If you have a job, it means society is telling you, people are telling you in this world that we need your power, your energy to help us out. Job tasks are a privilege. You need to change that mindset. We need to change that mindset. Number two, working is not about time. How much time? Even if you use only one minute a day to work, if you produce a A plus product, that's great the other 23 hour, 59, 59 minutes, you can feel free to rest as much as you like, right? If you're a freelancer or a business owner, you need to, we need, not, not you, we need to shift our mindsets to that too. Working is not about time. I don't, um, I assign Takazu and Tomoko's tasks, right? I don't um, 
basically mind how many hours they're working. They could only work one hour a day and all the 23 hours, they can do whatever they want to because we're not always together, right? We only, only only see each other twice a week, you know, for a meeting and for uh, vid a video filming and such. All the other time they have during the day, they're free to do whatever they want to. See, that, that's what freelancers and business owners are, right? So they can choose whatever they want to do, but whenever they're late, to submit a task that I asked them to do, saying, I used 12 hours on this. I, you know, I used a whole three days on this. That is just an excuse. And an excuse will collapse, make our team, our company collapse. Because if I start tolerating that, we're not actually making product, we're not getting results, then it's done, right? And as I said, I'm not trying to torture anyone in my team this is reality this is how it, the system works right so but again you know it takes time it took time for me to understand too because i was in a really desperate situation that i had to earn some kind of money for my family and i was forced to learn this as fast as possible you know but the two are in a completely dis different situation and again i love them I love Kazu and Tomoko. I love them both. And they will forever be my best friends. Yeah. But because I want to protect their lives, I need sometimes to be a boss. You know, it's it hurts. It hurts all the time that I have to tell them that they need to change their mindsets. You know, I don't want to, to sound bossy. I don't want to act bossy. Right. It would be great if I could just laugh and you know, smile and talk like we, when we were best friends. But if I want to make my dreams come true together with them, there are some things that we need to overcome together. And this is the thing that I've been uh, struggling with a lot recently. <laughs> I have been talking for 17 minutes now. I'm very sure not everyone has been listening to this long, but... If you have, I really, really appreciate it from the deepest part of my heart. I'm really sorry I got a little bit, um, mm, should I say, overwhelmed with my feelings. But yeah, it, it, made, me a, it made me feel a lot better um, to talk about this. Thank you so much for listening. So then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. So I know that there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to study, work, or travel, and even train our traditional culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we are facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I want to dedicate my life to try to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generations so they can have a brighter future. And by the way, yes, we are um, donating these super chats and super thanks that we receive um, through the training live streams every week to the children living in poverty. Thank you so much for always supporting us. It's a small step, but I thought we could start from something like this. So we're uh, very grateful for all of your support. And again, um, yeah, thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. Uh, this probably would have been the one. I think the last one I got so emotional <laughs> was probably the one when I talked about Japan's uh, borders opening up or not and such. But I'm really, really uh, grateful that I have a platform like this where I have you listening to this for me. And um, a lot of people tell me, Shogo, like you're always so happy and always energetic. And I am. I definitely am. It's, it, that's not a lie either. But of course, I do struggle with some things too. And when I, whenever I do struggle with something seriously, it's about when I'm struggling, when I care about someone that I love. Yeah. And it's it's hard, you know, as you probably can understand. It. You know, I don't want. I'm not because we're the same age, right? Tomoko, Kaz, and I are the same age. But I suddenly, when it comes to business, I have to suddenly act as if I have more experience in life. You know, it is true though. I, I am the business owner, so I do have more experience in business. And sometimes I have to act like the boss because I am the boss. And of course, I completely understand that this is really painful for the two too. Because they feel like, well, you, got, you were just friends, you know, just a few months ago. And suddenly you're acting so bossy to me. Like, am, are you trying to say that I'm lower than you kind of thing? And this is really difficult, you know. I can see whenever I talk about these things directly to them, I can see in their eyes that they're really feeling not anger, but stress. 
you know, having your formal, not a formal, but you know, a best friend coming up to you and telling you that the way you、um, are doing business is, you know, we need we need to do some kind of change. You know, it's not very happy, right? You know, it's not definitely not a happy feeling. So, but again, but again, and then in the end, I'm not going to be giving up. I'm not going to be giving up anything. I love my team members. I am very serious about my dream, and I always tell them, my dream can only be accomplished with this team. This team I have here is the best I can have in this whole world. This team is the best I can have in this whole world, and I am very, very confident about that. But of course, there are things that we have to overcome in between, and right now is definitely the pass through that. Yeah. Okay, everyone. I'm so sorry this was so long. If you are、uh, actually listen to the very end for me, please let me know in the comments again. I'll be happy to reply to you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, guys.